So let's look at this. I hope you did yours, which is basically um, a fix up for the repo. In case you didn't do yours, this is mine cryptocurrency finance XRP slash euro. That is what it is in euro. So I think I should just change it to dollars um, USD. So, like I said, there are 16 of them, and um, you can always check them here. These are the 16 um, destination fiat currencies you could use. So, I'm just changing this to USD. I will soon show you the power of this thing. Let me show you uh, just an example, quick example of the power of what we're doing here. Let us compare, uh, just make sure that uh, this column is selected. Go to this side and click on Insert Chart. And let's see what happened. Oops. No data comes up, so we have to reselect. So, um, as you can see, it plots our data for us, and um, including Bitcoin and um, Ethereum and Ripple. And um, it's just crazy and cool the way it does that. Of course, you can manipulate these charts um, in all. Uh, all kind of types you want as you can see there you can use this kind of you can just adjust it a little and a whole lot of things and manipulations you can use on, on charts you understand so for me I'm just using this so I'm just um, trying to show you that um, there are limitless possibilities of things you can do here to see make sure that you this thing really looks super cool but the first basic one is what we're working through which is uh, basically to get the numbers straight so let us look at volume so far, I didn't add volume here, so I'll just um, insert column, and uh, we're going to call it volume. Volume is basically the total amount of um, transactions that is going on. So let us go and Google what volume is. So define currency volume. If you look at here, you see that volume is the number of shares or contracts traded in a security or an entire market during a given period of time. So for every buyer, there's a seller, and each transaction contributes to the count of total volume. So we're trying to know how much... Uh, what's the total volume of um, any currency we're working with so to do that we're just going to mention the currency and then mention the volume so we're going to do uh, crypto finance crypto finance and we're for us here the first one is btc or the btc uh, comma volume 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 and uh, that solves our problem volume i hope the spellings are correct so this is the total volume and of course we do what we did before which is convert the form format it to look uh, like a cool super cool number and it's well formatted and then we do the volume for the rest so for me i'll just copy what is here because i'm lazy i don't want to type it all over again i'll just um, double click paste and this one is etc so if you don't put slash usd for instance uh or slash the base the 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 destination fiat currency if you don't put slash it it will tell you the volume the default is us dollars you understand so uh, if you wanted to see it in canadian dollars we just do card or in euro we do euro you understand or in bitcoin we do bitcoin but if you just leave it like this it will assume that you mean this usd right so um, we do the same thing for the ripple xrp and we're good to go xrp so remember this whole tutorial is assuming that we just invested in trade currencies if you had more you would just list them all right so good to go and the next thing we're going to look at is the the open open is uh, at what value did it open for the day and close is at what value did it close for the day so for us to even even get to that we'll look at something else but that will be in the next video so when we get to the next video we'll look at something else all right so thank you very much for watching this video and um if you have any questions please drop them in the comments area and so that uh you can be able to cope now if this is your first time ever of watching any of my videos or anything please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel to do that you simply have to visit youtube and uh, youtube.com slash c slash brainteam.org that is my channel for programming tutorials but then for my channel for cryptocurrencies and a whole lot of other things, I'll add them in the comments section, in the resources section of this video, so that you can have the, uh, the opportunity to visit and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so the subscription makes sure that every time I publish a new video, you will be the first to get it. So when you visit, you can subscribe.
Thank you very much for seeing the next video.